Let's see how much information you remember. What do we call a place with lots of books? Get ready. Yes, a library. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, a library is a place with lots of books. Great job. What do we call a place where airplanes land? Get ready. Yes, an airport. Say the whole thing about an airport. Get ready. Yes, an airport is a place where airplanes land. Great job. What do we call a person who cuts down trees? Get ready. Yes, a lumberjack. Say the whole thing about a lumberjack. Get ready. Yes, a lumberjack is a person who cuts down trees. What do we call a person who buys something in a store? What do we call a person who buys something in a store? Get ready. Yes, a customer. Say the whole thing about a customer. Get ready. Yes, a customer is a person who buys something in a store. Good. What do we call a person who flies an airplane? Think. What do we call a person who flies an airplane? Get ready. Yes, a pilot. Say the whole thing about a pilot. Get ready. Yes, a pilot is a person who flies an airplane. Great job, let's keep it up. Now, get ready for some new information. Listen, a waiter is a person who brings you food in a restaurant. Listen again. A waiter is a person who brings you food in a restaurant. What do we call a person who brings you food in a restaurant? Get ready. Yes, a waiter. Everybody, say the whole thing about a waiter. Get ready. Yes, a waiter is a person who brings you food in a restaurant. Great job. Next, what do we call a person who buys something in a store? Get ready. Yes, a customer. Say the whole thing about a customer. Get ready. Yes. A customer is a person who buys something in a store. Now let's see if we remember this one. What do we call a person who brings you food in a restaurant? Get ready. Yes, a waiter. Everybody say the whole thing about a waiter. Get ready. Great job. Now let's talk about opposites. Here are new opposites. Listen, the opposite of soft is hard. What is the opposite of soft? Get ready. Yes, hard. What is the opposite of hard? Get ready. Yes, soft. Now let's try these sentences. The chair was the opposite of hard. The chair was the opposite of hard. So what do you know about the chair? Get ready. Yes, it was soft. Good. Next sentence. The plastic was the opposite of soft. The plastic was the opposite of soft. So what do you know about it? Get ready. Yes, it was hard. Great job. Let's try some more. The window was the opposite of closed. The window was the opposite of closed. So what do you know about the window? Get ready. Yes, it was open. Next, the train was the opposite of early. The train was the opposite of early. 
So what do you know about it? Get ready. Yes, it was late. Great job. Next one. The birds were the opposite of sad. The birds were the opposite of sad. So what do you know about them? Get ready. Yes, they were happy. Great job. Last one. A can was the opposite of empty. A can was the opposite of empty. So what do you know about it? Get ready. Great job. Those are all our opposites. Now we're going to talk about same and different. You're going to tell me if the things that I name are in the same class or different classes. Listen, a house and an elephant. Think of them. A house and an elephant. What class is a house in? Get ready. Yes, buildings. What class is an elephant in? Get ready. Yes, animals. So are they in the same class or different classes? Get ready. Yes, different classes. What about a house and a gas station? A house and a gas station. What class is a house in? Get ready. Yes, buildings. What class is a gas station in? Get ready. Yes, buildings. So are they in the same class or different classes? Get ready. Yes, the same class. Great job. Let's do one more. What about a house and a grocery store? A house and a grocery store. What class is a house in? Get ready. Yes, buildings. And what class is a grocery store in? Get ready. Yes, buildings also. So are they in the same class or different classes? Get ready. Yes, the same class. Great job, guys. Now we're going to talk about why things are the same and why they are different. I want you to think about a couch and a chair. Think about a couch and a chair. Think of two ways they are the same. Five seconds. Good, okay, we could say that we both sit on them because we sit on a couch and we sit on a chair and we both see them in the same place. We see them in a house, right, or a building. They, that's two ways that they are the same, good. Now, I want you to think of two ways a couch and a chair are different. Think of two ways a couch and a chair are different. Five seconds. Good, we can say that a couch is longer because they can come in all shapes and sizes, right? And a chair is just one little chair. Um, and we can also say that a couch is soft and a chair is not. A chair is usually pretty hard like this one. Yeah, good. You told me how a chair and a couch are different. Good job. Here's another one. I want you to think about a glove and a hat. A glove and a hat. Think of two ways they are the same. Five seconds. Okay, we can wear them and they both go on our bodies. They're clothing, good. Those are awesome answers. How are they different? Five seconds. Gloves go on our hands and a hat doesn't go on our hands. And gloves keep our hands warm and a hat does not keep our hands warm. Good, you told me how a glove and a hat are different, excellent. Some people want to build a school. Are some schools made of paper, like this? Are some schools made of paper? Get ready. No. So can the people use paper to build a school? Get ready. No. Why is that absurd? What's absurd about a school that's made of paper? 
yeah, the wind could blow it down. It would crumble. It would rip. It wouldn't protect us, right? No, the walls would not stay up. Good. What about concrete? Are some schools made of concrete? Get ready. Yes, right? Why can concrete be used to make schools? Because it's strong, the, the walls would be very strong and the wind can blow it down, right? It wouldn't, it wouldn't fall down super easy. What about rubber? Can some schools be made out of rubber? Get ready. No, right? Can the people use rubber to make a school? Get ready. No, right? What's absurd about a school that's made of rubber? Yeah, the walls would bend and they would be all floppy. They wouldn't like sit, stay up straight and it wouldn't, it wouldn't protect us, right? It would fall down just like the paper. Good. I'm going to show you a couple schools. Let's look at the next page. Look at these pictures. This school is made of wood. What is this school made of? Get ready. Yes, wood. Some schools are made of wood. Say that sentence. Get ready. Yes, some schools are made of wood. This school is made of brick. Look at this school. This school is made of brick. What's this school made of? Get ready. Yes, brick. Say the whole thing. Some schools are made of brick. Get ready. Perfect. Some schools are made of brick. This school is made of concrete. What's this school made of? Get ready. Yes, concrete. Some schools are made of concrete. Say that whole thing. Get ready. Yes. Some schools are made of concrete. Are windows made out of concrete? Get ready. No. Who can tell me what they're made of? Glass. Those are awesome answers. Yes, glass. So this school is made of concrete and glass. Look, there's concrete on the walls and there's glass. Some schools are made of concrete and glass. Say that, get ready. Yes, some schools are made of concrete and glass. Good. Let's make up rules for these trees. Listen, if a tree is tall, what's next to it? Get ready. Yes, a rabbit. There's a rabbit next to it. So what's the rule about a tree that is tall? Think. Get ready. Awesome job. If a tree is tall, there's a rabbit next to it. Say that rule. Get ready. Awesome job. If a tree is tall, there's a rabbit next to it. Look at the trees that are short. If a tree is short, What's next to it? Get ready. Yes, there is a squirrel next to it. So what's the rule about a tree that is short? Get ready. Great job. If a tree is short, there's a squirrel next to it. Excellent job. Say that rule again. Get ready. Yes, if a tree is short, there's a squirrel next to it. So let's say those rules again. What's the rule about a tree that is tall? Get ready. Yes, if a tree is tall, there's a rabbit next to it. What's the rule about a tree that is short? Get ready. Yes, if a tree is short, there's a squirrel next to it. Figure out this problem and I'll show you the picture on the next page. Listen, 
The girl will pick up some of the animals. Listen again. The girl will pick up some of the animals. What will the girl do? Get ready. Yes, pick up some of the animals. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, the girl will pick up some of the animals. Will the girl pick up all the animals? Get ready. No, great job. Listen, the girl will pick up all of the rabbits. Listen again. The girl will pick up all of the rabbits. Is this a rabbit? Get ready. No. Is this a rabbit? Get ready. No. Are these rabbits? Get ready. Yes. So will the, ra will the girl pick up these animals? Get ready. Yes. Awesome. Let's look at the picture. Will the girl pick up some of these animals? Get ready. Yes, remember, the girl will pick up some of the animals. Will the girl pick up all of these animals? No. Which animals will the girl pick up? Get ready. Yes, the rabbits. The girl will pick up all of the rabbits. Will the girl pick up all of the rabbits? Get ready. Yes, awesome. Let's see if you're right. Look at the picture. Did the girl pick up all of the animals? Get ready. No. Did the girl pick up some of the animals? Get ready. Yes. Which animals did she pick up? Get ready. Yes, the rabbits. Did she pick up all of the rabbits? Get ready. Yes, she picked up all the rabbits. Say the whole thing about what the girl did. Get ready. Yes, the girl picked up all of the rabbits. Where is the boy? Get ready. Yes, on the elephant. Say the whole thing about where the boy is. Get ready. Yes, the boy is on the elephant. Is this animal an elephant? Get ready. Yes. What is the baby holding? Get ready. Yes, the bird. The baby is holding the bird. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Great job. The baby is holding the bird. Great job. How do you think the rabbits feel? Do you think they're happy? Would you want to pick up rabbits? I know I would. I bet they're super soft. What about an elephant? Do you think you could pick up an elephant? No, it would be way too heavy. These pictures tell a story about what a firefighter did. The ladder is next to the house. Where is the ladder? Get ready. Yes, next to the house. First, the firefighter climbed the ladder. Who climbed the ladder? Get ready. Yes, the firefighter. What is the firefighter doing in this picture? Get ready. Yes, opening the window. Let's try those questions again. Listen, the ladder is next to the house. Where is the ladder? Get ready. Yes, next to the house. First, the firefighter climbed the ladder. Who climbed the ladder? Get ready. Yes, the firefighter. What is the firefighter doing in this picture? Get ready. Yes, opening the window. Now this time, I am not going to touch the pictures. Everybody, 
What did the firefighter do before she opened the window? Get ready. Yes, climbed the ladder. What did she do after she climbed the ladder? Get ready. Yes, opened the window. What did the firefighter climb? Get ready. Yes, the ladder. Where is the ladder? Get ready. Yes, next to the house. Who climbed the ladder? Get ready. Yes, the firefighter climbed the ladder. Excellent job. What do we call a forest in a hot place? Get ready. Yes, a jungle. Here is a picture of a jungle. I'll name some of the things you see in a jungle. Watch. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a tree. There are lots of trees and other plants in the jungle. What is this? A monkey, yes. Monkeys live in the trees. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a leopard. Leopards live in the jungle. And what is this crawling on the floor? Get ready. Yes, a snake. Snakes like to crawl on the ground and up the trees. And what is this? Get ready. Yes, a parrot. A parrot is bright, they're very colorful, and they also live in the jungle. Now, let's see if you remember the names of some of those things. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a tree. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a monkey. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a leopard. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a snake. And what is this? Get ready. Yes, a parrot. What else do you see in the picture? I want you to look at the picture. I'll give you a couple of seconds. There's a lot of plants, right? Maybe it's hot. He's also swinging on some vines. Those are really good, guys. What do we call the place that we see in this picture? What is this called? Get ready. Yes, a jungle. Let's look at this picture. What do we call a place with lots of trees? Get ready. Yes, a forest. Let's see if you remember some of the things you see in a forest. What are these called? Get ready. Yes, trees. What do we call this man? Get ready. Yes, a lumberjack. And what is he using? Get ready. Yes, a chainsaw. What does he have on his feet to protect his feet? Get ready. Yes, boots. And what do we call this vehicle? Get ready. Yes, a bulldozer. Let's try to do those questions again. Let's do them a little quicker. What is this? Get ready. Yes, trees. What do we call this man? Get ready. Yes, a lumberjack. What is he using? Get ready. Yes, a, so a chainsaw. And what does he have on his feet? Get ready. Yes, boots. And what kind of vehicle is this? Get ready. Yes, a bulldozer. And what do we call the whole thing? What do we call this picture? Get ready. Yes, a forest. Now, let's talk some more about a forest. What kind of plant is this? Get ready. Yes, a tree. Say the whole thing about this plant. Get ready. Awesome job. This plant is a tree. What about this animal? What kind of animal is that? Get ready. Yes, a rabbit. Say the whole thing about this animal. Get ready. 
Great job. Let me ask you a few more questions about the forest. What do you think we get from trees? What do we get from trees? Yes, they can give us wood for houses, paper, lumber. We might need all these things so we can make things. Why do we think lumberjacks go in the forest? Yes, to cut down trees so that way they can give us the things that we need. Good. What are chainsaws used for? Why is he using a chainsaw? Mm-hmm, to cut down trees. And why does he need boots, do you think? Why do you think he needs boots? So he can protect his feet, so he can climb the trees. Good. And what does a bulldozer do in the forest? Yeah, look, it's pooling logs. That's how they get it out of the forest. Great job. 